a Stanley 10-piece ratcheting screwdriver, normal price $13.99, now only $2.99 with Ace Reward Card. Buy two 20-pound bags of premium bird seed and get one free. And Spectracide Ready to Spray Bug Stop on sale at just $4.99. Stock up today on Ace brand air filters right now. Buy two, get one free. Plus, go to Ace Hardware for any construction project. From a doghouse to your dream house, Harris Ace Hardware on West Cherry Street in Jessup. It's time now for a look at latest in local sports and sports. We've got Varsity Girls Softball Day, 5.30 p.m. It's Lady Jackets host Veterans High School, a non region opponent. Pre-game show will begin this afternoon at 5.15 right here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Lady Jackets come into the game undefeated at 10-0, ranked number one in the state of Georgia in girls softball among 5A schools. Today's game just one of two scheduled this week as girls will be in Statesboro on Thursday. Take on the Lady Blue Devils in a region contest. Once again, our pregame show this afternoon, 5.15 on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Wayne County against Veterans High School at the Barbara Strickoff softball field. Volleyball team's next games are Thursday with JV Varsity Action against Groves and Toombs County. Matches begin at 4, run until 7 with the final match at the Benny Radliff Gym. Wayne County's football team, 1-0, have a big challenge this weekend as they head to Valdos State on the Wildcats, or 1-1 after Friday's 26-0 win over Woodland Stockbridge. Wildcats hit a kickoff return for a touchdown in their game as well. Tyler Berry in return the second half kickoff back 90 yards for a score. Wildcats are ranked number 8th in the latest 6A football poll behind Tucker 1, Lee County 2, Harrison 3, Coffee 4, Mays 5, Northgate is 6th, Lovejoy 7th, and the Wildcats come in at number 8. Ninth is Hughes and 10th is Northside Warner Robins. Game time is 8 p.m. in Valdosta, so keep that in mind. If you're headed over to the game, tickets of Valdosta, $10 at the gate, so keep that in mind as well. We'll have more on the matchup all this week. Coach Cribb on Monday night says at the Touchdown Club that the team came away in good shape from Friday's win over West Lawrence. There's a few bumps and bruises, but no serious injuries to report. Once again, the kickoff Friday night in Valdosta at 8 p.m., so we'll start our coaches show at 6.30 this Friday, begin with the coaches show. And then lead into the pregame show at 7 o'clock from Valdosta, leading up to kickoff at 8 o'clock. So, again, that's our lineup this Friday. Coaches show at 6.30, pregame at 7, kickoff at 8 o'clock in Valdosta. Braves troubles with Philadelphia. Phillies continue last night. Phillies win 6-1. Both teams in action tonight at Philadelphia. First pitch, 7.05. Former Georgia quarterback and now Detroit Lions quarterback Matthew Stafford signs a five-year extension with the Detroit Lions, becomes the highest-paid player in the NFL, will make an average salary of $27 million per year. That's more than the $25 million that Oakland is paying their quarterback, Derek Carr. It's a $92 million contract with a $50 million signing bonus. We should all be that lucky. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.